All right then gang, so now we can log in, but if we want to log out, we currently have to click on the login sign up button again and then log out through the modal. Now it would be easier for a user if they could just click on a log out link instead and that would log them out without the modal. So that's what we're going to do now. So first of all, we need to create a logout function inside this context file right here. We have a login one. We also need a logout one. So let's do that const logout and we set that equal to a function like so. Now inside this function, we just need to take Netlify identity again and use the logout method like so and that's all there is to it. We also need to return this right here in the context, not return it, just register it inside this object. So we'll say logouts and then now we can access this because we pass through the context object here, we can access that logout function in other components. Now before we do that, I wanna do one more thing in this file and that is to add an event listener for the logout event. We have one for the login event. I'd like to do one for the logout event as well, just so we can log something to the console to know that that's happened and also update the user right here to be null again because if they log out, we want this to be null so we don't think there's someone still logged in. So let's do that over here. I'm going to say Netlify identity and then dot on and we want to listen for the logout event this time and that occurs when a user logs out obviously <laughs> and then inside here we're going to say set user and that is going to go back to null and also we'll console.log logout events now we don't need to close the model anymore because we've not opened it we're just going to click on some kind of link or button that calls this function the modal never opens so what I'm going to do is save this and then head to the navbar component and I'm going to copy this where we have sign up and I'm going to paste it down below. I'll change the text to log out and then I'm going to change this to log out and we need to grab that from the context over here. So log out like so. And now if I was to save this, I'm going to come over here and refresh. You can see if I click on this, I'm currently logged in as Mario. Now, if I click on this, hopefully it's gonna log me out. We get the logout event, this null right here, this is the user value because it's changed. We've changed the state when we have that logout event. And now if I click on this again, you can see I'm no longer logged in. All right, so that's all working, cool. We've logged out. Now, that's pretty much all we have to do, but I do wanna add one more thing to the auth context file. And this thing is to unregister these different event listeners because when this component right here unmounts the DOM, then it would be good practice to unregister these listeners so that if this then again mounts the DOM, we don't then have duplicate event listeners when we set them up again. Now, in our case, this is probably not gonna happen because it surrounds our entire application. It's not like it's entering and exiting the DOM all the time or mounting and unmounting all the time. So it doesn't really matter, but for the sake of good practice, let's do it. And the way we're gonna do this is by returning a function. And when we do this inside of use effect, this function is gonna fire whenever the component unmounts. So this would be the place to unregister different event listeners. So to do that, we can say Netlify identity, and then instead of on, we say off, and we can say whichever event we wanna stop listening to. So for example, login, and we'll also do one for the logout event as well, because we're listening to both of those, login and logout, and therefore, we're gonna unregister those listeners if this ever unmounts. Like I said, in our case, probably we didn't need to do this, but for the sake of good practice, we did it. All right, so let's just make sure nothing changes and everything still works. I'm gonna try and log in, in first of all, and that's not working, so let's just take a look at what's going on. Okay, so we have this return statement right here, and it comes before this, so this never actually runs. We have to place this before the return statement for it to work. Okay, so save that now, and hopefully this is gonna work. Cool, it does. All right, so now if I try to log in, I'm gonna say mario at the net ninja.co.uk and then test one, two, three, four. I'm gonna log in. And then if I click on this again, we can see I'm logged in as Mario. Then I'm gonna log out 
and we can see the logout event. And if I click on this, we can also see I'm not logged in. All right, cool. So finally, right about now, I'd like to deploy what we have to Netlify so we can test it out on a live site. So to do that, remember we've set up continuous deployment. All we have to do is add our changes locally to the main branch, and then we can push up that main branch to our GitHub repo. That is gonna trigger a deployment on Netlify, and then we should be able to preview this live. So let's do this. I'm gonna come down to my terminal, start a new terminal. I'm gonna say git add to add all the changes. And then I'll say git commit. We'll do a message and we'll just say login and log out. And then we'll push the main branch to the origin. And once this is done, if we then go to Netlify over here, and if we go to deploys, we can see now that's triggered a build over here. So it's pulling in that main branch, it's building everything for us, and hopefully in a second, if there's no errors, we'll be able to preview it. All right then, so now that's published, if we click on this link, we should be able to preview this in a browser. Everything looking good, it's just taking a while to load the image. But now if I click on this, first of all, we can see I'm not logged in. I'm gonna try logging in as Mario at the net ninja.co.uk and then down here the password is test1234 I'm going to try logging in see if this works and if we take a look inside the console we should see that user object it's right here and the login event so that's all working now if I log out we can see the logout event and now the user is null awesome